Hello travel bugs. So last year I did so many different things that I never thought I was going to do as far as backpacking, hiking, and going ice skating on lakes, and just all the fun stuff, skate skiing. Tried that for the first time this past year. And when my friend told me about this thing called the Moose Loop Trail in Anchorage, Alaska, I honestly wasn't sure what that was going to entail because it's a 35 mile bike ride around the city in the shape of a moose, which is really, really cool. So we made it from the place where I picked up the bike to our starting point, which was an extra five miles worth of biking. And by the time like we had just left the starting point, the bike would no longer switch gears, had no clue what was wrong, not sure what to do. And we ended up stopping on the side of the trail and we got some help from some really nice people. The bike I'm using currently, the gear, Shifter is not actually shifting, so, so two people came to help us. We'll see if they can figure it out. <laughs> they got it to work, but we still couldn't get it to work, so we went a little bit further and then FaceTimed Jonathan so he could help us figure out how to operate his bike. He was super nice and super kind the entire time, so thank you for that because I honestly had no clue how to work the bike. Okay, the Moose Loop Trail is the trail that we're currently doing. You can see that there. I think we're about a third of the way in. Um, it's a little difficult. Uphills, so far I've done a really good job at not walking my bike uphill, but actually riding it even if I have to take frequent stops, which I think is good. Didn't think I would do that. So um, when I first asked how far we'd gone, I thought we were halfway and we were only seven miles in and it's like 32 miles and we added extra from the house that we started riding our bikes from. So. <sighs> the last hill though totally nailed it and we'll see we'll see how things go from here okay I'll give you another update soon. Up until mile 10 and 15, it was definitely the hardest. Getting my body warmed up, not operating the bike properly was a big factor in that as well. And all the hills were just very difficult and the seat was not comfortable so every little bump every little like you know going across streets little jump little pothole it hurt so i had to try to stand up a little bit as i'd go over the bumps or slow down because it was just terrible so between mile 15 and 25 was actually a little bit better because at that point i knew how to use the gear shift and things were moving a little bit smoothly my body was warmed up the seat still hurt terribly so that never changed and every time we took a break and trying to get back on it it hurt even more so that was just it was just not pleasant I think if I did this again I will definitely need a little cushion to go on the seat to make it a little bit more comfortable so we made it out to Kincaid Park we actually saw a mama bear and her three cubs so I've lived in Alaska my whole life and the only times I've seen a bear has been when I was at home where they were going through our trash or in my car when we were driving somewhere or in the wildlife conservatory or zoo type situation never when the bear could actually reach me so when we saw the mama bear and her three cubs up in the tree it was like okay cool let's get a photo granted i don't suggest you do this make sure you're practicing bear safety we did have our bear spray but we still shouldn't have done that safety wise um and but they were up in the tree so we were feeling a little bit okay doing this and we got our photos got a selfie tried to do a video but she started coming down the tree so there's a bear right there oh shoot and that's when we were like nope we're gone we'll let all the other people there stay close to the bear and we'll pedal away as fast as we could <laughs> somehow when we were done with that 35 mile bike ride i had so much energy at the end i don't know how because i was tired okay so we just made it to the beginning or the end of the trail depending on how you look at it because we started off going that way and we came from that way we're headed to go get some food and I think that's gonna be the best part of this trip is going to get some food. So although this was supposed to be about an awesome bike ride and an individual sport, it was actually just as much a group sport as it was individual, even though I had to get myself to the finish line. Being there with people and doing it with someone else was actually great because then I got the motivation to keep on moving. Also food does not hurt to have that as our end goal. Definitely surprised at what my body did and if you want to see me on more adventures, click the video that you see on your screen now to keep watching. Gummy worms, yeah.